Hey, what's going on everybody, and welcome back to another Fallout 4 mod bundle, the show where we take a bunch of cool mods under one similar theme and compile them into a nice little list for you guys. And today, we're going to be talking about heavy weapon mods, and not just any heavy weapon mods, but lore-friendly ones at that. Weapons that feel like they should belong in the Fallout universe, and a lot of these definitely do. So, without further ado, let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and get started with the first mod. And our first lore-friendly heavy weapon mod is going to be the Capital Wasteland Minigun by Xanthir. This is going to add a nice alternative to the vanilla Fallout 4 minigun, which has a nice classic lore-friendly aesthetic. This is going to be a nice remake of the classic Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas design of the minigun, one that I really, really enjoy. By all means, everybody has their own preferences and tastes, but for me personally, the classic style of the minigun design is definitely my preference. I really, really like getting this thing in New Vegas, but the one in Fallout 4 just felt a bit lacking to me. And a Capital Wasteland version of the minigun is also going to add back some features that were missing in Fallout 4, including the ammo backpack that would be equipped to your character whenever you actually pulled out the weapon, which I think is really, really cool. In Fallout 4, all of the ammo for the minigun is stored inside of a drum, but in Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas, there was a nice backpack that showed where you kept the rest of the ammo for this gigantic weapon. What's really cool with the Capital Wasteland version of this mod is there are two different versions. You can download this as a standalone weapon, so this will spawn alongside the vanilla Fallout 4 minigun so you can have more heavy weapon variety. Or alternatively, you can download it as a replacer so you can replace the vanilla one if you think this one is better. Additionally, the Capital Wasteland version of the minigun does offer more customization options at the weapons workbench, so you can actually upgrade this thing quite a bit, unlike the vanilla counterpart which has almost no attachments whatsoever. If you decide to download the standalone version, this will be added to the leveled list, so it will be spawning out in the world where you'd find any other minigun, or if you use the replacer, it will just spawn wherever any vanilla minigun would spawn. Additionally, on top of all of that, this also adds a handful of unique miniguns that you can hunt down that have their own cool legendary effects. Altogether, I think this makes for a perfect starter heavy weapon mod. This is a huge improvement on the vanilla minigun design, and I think this is one that's definitely worth picking up, not only for lore-friendly load orders, but just about anything if you're looking to replace the boring old vanilla minigun in Fallout 4. Now up next, we have another improvement on a vanilla design, and that is the Wasteland Flamethrower by Pig. Now, in my opinion, the vanilla flamer in Fallout 4 was really, really cool. It didn't look at all like its classic counterparts in Fallout 3 or Fallout New Vegas, but I did enjoy the industrial design. It seemed a bit more like a tool that was used as an improvised weapon, which is definitely very, very Fallout, and it had enough attachments to make it a pretty competent weapon compared to, say, the minigun. But... The Wasteland Flamethrower by Pig, I think, is a really cool design that you would see a lot more in a Fallout-type scenario. Rather than lugging around this absolutely massive industrial flamer, this is going to be a more sort of compact design that's handheld and works as a nice functional little makeshift Wasteland Flamethrower, something that I could definitely see raiders running around with. Originally, this Wasteland Flamethrower was part of a heavy weapons pack by Pig, but now it is available as a standalone weapon due to its popularity on the Nexus. People really, really love this thing, myself included. We didn't really have a sort of proper handheld flamethrower, and this adds a nice alternative. Don't get me wrong, I do like the classic style with the backpack, but we don't really have a version like that that's not included in a huge project like Project Mojave. So for a standalone option for a nice little flamethrower, I think the Wasteland Flamethrower is a really, really good option. Not to mention it includes levelless integration and you will find this thing out in the world on combatants. And this thing is actually a pretty formidable foe. If you find an enemy with this thing, they will do some major damage to you. And there's even a unique version that can be found as well. So this makes for a really, really cool mod with some cool attachments and definitely fits the lore friendly aesthetic. Up next, we have a very unique heavy weapon, and that is the Skewer Launcher by me. My first standalone weapon mod that I ever created, this is going to be a gigantic pneumatic skewer launcher. This is going to be a vanilla-esque counterpart to the harpoon launcher from the Far Harbor DLC. This one is going to instead spawn all over the commonwealth instead of being locked to just Far Harbor. And rather than holding this thing like a minigun like you would for the harpoon launcher, this instead is going to be shoulder mounted like a missile launcher and you can just load in each harpoon in a very nice and quick manner. This mod features tons of customization with different harpoons you can load up, as well as some really interesting attachments, including massive bayonets or shields that you can put on this weapon, as well as some cool improvised scopes. 
and it is added to the level list and will be found on super mutants and raider bosses. And there's even a handful of unique variants that you can find that each have their own really cool effects, like a plasma infused skewer launcher or a semi-automatic skewer launcher that has a huge box magazine intended for gunner use. This mob was a lot of fun to make and I think it ended up with a really cool unique design that I still haven't seen mimicked anywhere on the Nexus. So if you're looking for a really interesting new heavy weapon to help break up the diversity in Fallout 4, I think this is definitely a good one to download and it's available for not only PC, but Xbox as well. Up next, we have another classic weapon mod, and that's going to be the Capital Wasteland Gauss Rifle by the Fried Turkey and HCGX Grill. Now, I know a lot of people were upset with the design of the Gauss Rifle in Fallout 4. This thing is absolutely massive, definitely deserving of the title of Heavy Weapon, but it is still just a bit cumbersome. And a lot of people do prefer the classic design, so with the Capital Wasteland Gauss Rifle, you'll get just that. The classic Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas style of Gauss Rifle, complete with custom reload animations and leveled list integration. Or, of course, you can download an optional file to make this thing into a replacer, so it will replace the classic Gauss Rifle. This mod is going to bring back not only the super cool classic design of the Gauss Rifle, but also some of the unique variants that we saw in previous games, like the YCS-186. Even if you like the design of the Fallout 4 style of Gauss Rifle, the classic one is still just very, very cool, and I really, really like its aesthetic, and it fits very well in Fallout 4 in this mod. So I'm really happy to see that this has multiple versions, like the ability to download this so that it spawns alongside the classic Gauss Rifle, adding even more variety into the game and allowing you to enjoy both designs. I think the Fallout 4 one works great as a makeshift sort of design of Gauss Rifle. It doesn't seem like anything that would be used by the military, whereas the Capital Wasteland design definitely has that manufactured feel like this is something that could actually be put in use in a combat scenario. Either way, this is another really, really cool lore-friendly design and one that I definitely recommend trying out and another one that's available for not only PC but console as well. And finally, that brings us to our last mod, another classic design, the Fallout 3 Gatling Laser by Newell Dell. This one seems to fly under the radar a lot. I don't see a lot of people talk about this mod, so I wanted to be able to showcase it here today. Sadly, this is the only mod on this list that is not available for Xbox, but if you're on PC, you can enjoy this one. This is going to add the Fallout 3 style of Gatling laser, also featured in Fallout New Vegas, and it's even going to come with custom animations, which you don't see too often for heavy weapons like this. This is going to add in not only the classic design of the Gatling laser, but also some cool attachments over at the weapons workbench to allow you to modify this thing into some really interesting weapons. You have the classic style of Gatling laser, but you also have a shotgun Gatling laser that fires bursts of three lasers at a time, and there's even an option to change out the projectiles to plasma, and that one, I have to say, is a little bit OP, but it is still really cool. This weapon is sadly not integrated into the leveled list, but you can find an individual version of it over at Lexington Laundry, a pretty interesting place to find this thing, but still really cool that it, you can at least pick it up in the world. Sadly, nobody has made a patch for this thing to add it to the level list or even make it a replacer for the vanilla Gatling laser, but if you want more variety, this is going to add a nice unique for you to find while still being able to use the classic Gatling laser in Fallout 4. Much like all the other weapons on this list, this weapon is a lot of fun, as heavy weapons tend to be, and definitely proves to be a little bit more competent in combat than the vanilla Gatling laser. This one definitely spits out quite a bit more damage, especially with some of the upgrades over at the weapons workbench. Still a lot of fun though, may not be the most balanced thing in the world, but if you're looking for a nice new heavy weapon with a classic aesthetic, this might be the one for you. And I think that wraps up just about everything on today's list. I hope you guys found at least one new mod to throw into your own load order. Be sure to let me know if you did down in the comments. With that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to drop a rating. Consider subscribing if you haven't already for more videos just like this. Big shout out to all of my patrons for supporting every single video. And of course, a very special thank you to all of my tier 3 patrons. Captain Chaos, Helljumper, Indecisive Wolf, Jackie Noid, Timmy76, Cushy, Moonlit Gamer, Feed, and Youth RC. Thank you guys so much for joining that tier 3 Patreon membership. You guys are awesome. If you want to support the channel on Patreon, it'll be linked down in the description below, but it is completely optional. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.